I would ask Pascal Arkan to make closing remarks. And just want to say again, thank you so much for hosting us. Ugo and Pascal Arkan, it was wonderful here to be here. And it was just a great venue, and hopefully we'll do more things together again. Okay, oh, thanks. Thank you. Look, I'm what's standing between you and drinks or dinner or, wh or whatever. So uh, uh, looking at the title, I was reminded of when I was, uh, I think I was what used to be called in the French school system, sixième. This was at the Petite École de Dar es Salaam. And when we started studying the Iliad, I can still remember this. It was Chante aux Muses, la colère d'Achille, fils de Pélé. At least that's the French translation of the Iliad, the way it, uh, the way it begins. And I'm not sure if, if, if what Santiago has been talking about is just an Achilles heel. Uh, somehow I think that that heel is extremely, is, is, it's, it's, it's more like all the way up to the thigh uh, in, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the, 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 the danger. And, and what, what also sort of sprung to, to mind uh, listening to Santiago was the Arab world. Uh, and uh, the Arab world and the Middle East and North Africa in particular, I mean, and, and the, the structure of labor markets in those countries, and I work a lot in Tunisia and Morocco, and, and you have other problems even, and, but what you see there is how the frustration uh, uh, simmers up, and we've only seen it recently, in some sense, in what's going on in Chile and places like that, but in the Arab world, this has been a problem for a long time, and um, what I wanted to thank Santiago for also was with all, of course, the respect that we, uh, that we owe to our randomista friends, is to uh, have, have given a talk which is not glorified epidemiology uh, and which is actually economics and thinking of things in terms of economics and things of the, in, in terms, thinking of things in terms of sort of the big trade-offs, the big societal trade-offs uh, and though he didn't get into the political economy, obviously, that would sort of be chapter two here, would be the political economy of things. And this, w this was very much a, a, a development economics uh, lecture. And for that, I think we, uh, we should applaud him.